of the tower, and their claims up here talked about the little girl Priscilla that they've seen. Um, now, when we've done investigations up here, what's really cool, the K2, like I said, is very sensitive EMF. So, yeah, if I come over here by the electrical box, it's going to go off. One of the weird things in here, though, is we found, usually you have to have some type of electronic to give off EMF. For some reason, this wall over here, we can't quite figure it out, but if you look at the regular EMF, it doesn't move at all, but the K2 will go off. When we set up our equipment, we use digital uh, voice recorders. We use digital video recorders that have infrared. So we set them up all throughout the building. And um, we use the digital voice recorders to catch EVPs, which we may not hear with our ears, but when we play back, we may hear some voices or some odd noises. I know the first time we came in and did this, I was reviewing this room and I was listening to audio, and I kept hearing this. And I'm sitting there going, what could that noise be? I, and I finally sat there for a while and I went, wait a minute, there's an old typewriter in that room and that's what it sounds like. It sounds like an old typewriter key hitting the paper with the carbon and stuff. So um, I actually came in last time we investigated, I actually wrote, hi, Laura, if you'd like to talk to me or something, leave me a message. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so that was interesting. But we had an investigator sitting here and um, there is an air vent up there. But as he was sitting here, he kept feeling... Um, air kind of come from the back to the front over the back of him. And it was kind of sporadic. It wasn't like the vent came on and he had air blowing on him. It was just really sporadic. And so that was kind of interesting. And my husband was actually over here. And this is the cabin that talks a lot about the train and the railroads. And he was sitting here. And a lot of times what we use, too, for tools is we use little mag light flashlights and you can turn them to a point where they're not on you can shake them and stuff they won't come on but if you turn the top they'll come on and we had an interesting case where we actually had a flashlight conversation that we couldn't explain with something for an hour and uh, but in this situation he set the flashlight down he asked for the flashlight to come on it came on now we could not recreate that was it paranormal again we can't say but it was something a little bit abnormal